Hi everybody and welcome to PrintZone123. In this video I will be reviewing the Monoprice Maker Ultimate 3D Printer. I will cover the printer specifications, talk about some of the features this printer has to offer, and show many examples of the printer's quality. I will also give a summary of what I like and don't like about this printer and an overall recommendation. So how about we get a print started while I talk about the specifications. The Monoprice Maker Ultimate 3D Printer has a build volume of 200 by 200 by 175 millimeters and a layer resolution of 20 microns. The filament diameter it uses is 1.75 millimeters and the nozzle is a 0.4 millimeter diameter. The printer has a strong metal frame with dimensions 13.7 by 10.4 by 16.9 inches. I should also note that the printer comes almost fully assembled right out of the box. The printer comes with a heated bed plate and I have added borosilicate glass to my printer for better first layer adhesion and easier print removal. Unlike some lower quality printers, we can see here that the nozzle moves in the X and Y direction and the bed moves vertically in the Z direction to lower the print. There is an optional plexiglass enclosure available for purchase for this printer, but I have chose not to add this item and I've been able to achieve very high quality prints. The nozzle is a high temperature MK11 nozzle and is cooled by a fan with directed air. For slicing models, you can use an open source free download of Cura or you can use any software of your choice. Here we see the motor rotating the pulleys that drives the Y axis. Another really nice feature of the Maker Ultimate is that it comes with bright overhead LED lighting to illuminate the print bed. There are three fine-tuned adjustment wheels used to level the print bed during the assisted bed leveling process. Overall, the printer is pretty quiet and the sound level is not an issue. The filament reel holder is on the back of the printer and I have printed a longer holder that I got from Thingiverse which works perfectly for wider spools of filament. I will link this in the description below. Here we can see the standard power plug for plugging the printer into the wall and the on off switch for the printer. We also see the USB port option, although I would recommend just using the 8GB SD card that comes with the printer. Once you select print, the printer will preheat the print bed and nozzle and display the temperature on the LCD screen. The LCD screen also displays the name of the 3D model file and gives an estimate on how long the print has left until it is complete. Here I am scrolling through just some of the options that you have the ability to adjust for your printer, although most of your print settings will be set in your slicing software. The brightness of the LED lights can also be adjusted to whatever you would like. The printer comes with a scraper tool and I have used this to remove the gecko print. I'm now going to show many example prints that I've made with this printer so you can take a look at the overall quality capability of the Monoprice Maker Ultimate. Definitely make sure to check out my other videos. I have time lapse videos of all the prints I'm showing here plus many many more that are not in this video. And I also have Cura tutorial videos and provide general 3D printing tips and advice. Getting back to the quality of the prints, you can see here that the resolution of the prints is very fine and that the quality is pretty phenomenal, it's really great. The next print is an example of a multicolored print that I made on this printer and you can check out the description for a link to my video where I explain how to print with multiple colors. This Star Wars Millennium Falcon model had really small details and tiny features and they all came out really well. I also printed the 3D Hubs mascot Marvin, and then just for fun I printed a slightly larger version and both of them came out really smooth. What I like about this printer is the large print volume, the solid construction, and the high quality of prints. What I don't like is that it doesn't have automatic bed leveling, and that the fan cooling air does not surround the nozzle. For $700, the value of the printer just can't be beat. It's $100 cheaper than the Wenhao Duplicator 6, which is exactly the same printer, and less than half the price of the Zortrax M200. 
I hope this video was helpful to you. I provided a link for the Monoprice site, which sells the printer cheaper than any other location on the web. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel and check out all my other videos. This printer gets two thumbs up. Thanks for watching.